Here are some of the main categories immigration in Canada. Canada has several refugee and humanitarian programs designed to provide protection and support to individuals who are refugees, asylum seekers, or facing persecution in their home countries. These programs are administered by the Canadian government and various affiliated organizations. Here are some of the key refugee and humanitarian programs in Canada, Refugee Sponsorship Program, Private Sponsorship of Refugees, Canadian Citizens and Permanent Residents, as well as groups and organizations, can privately sponsor refugees to come to Canada. These sponsors are responsible for providing financial and emotional support to the refugees during their initial settlement in Canada. Blended Visa Office Referred Program This program combines government assistance with private sponsorship to support refugees. Under BVOR, the Canadian government and private sponsors share the financial responsibility for refugees. Government Assisted Refugee Program Under this program, the Canadian government provides financial and settlement support to refugees who are selected and resettled by the government itself. These refugees are typically identified and referred by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees or other referral organizations. Protected person status and asylum Individuals who are in Canada and fear persecution or are at risk of harm in their home countries can seek asylum in Canada. If they are found to be refugees, they may be granted protected person status, allowing them to live and work in Canada. Refugee claimants, individuals who arrive in Canada and make a refugee claim at a port of entry or within Canada can have their claims assessed. If their claims are accepted, they may be granted protected person status. Humanitarian and compassionate applications, individuals who are in Canada without legal status or are not eligible for other immigration programs may apply for permanent residence on humanitarian and compassionate grounds. These applications consider factors such as establishment in Canada, best interests of children, and hardship if removed. Temporary resident permits, in cases where individuals cannot apply for permanent residence but need to stay in Canada temporarily due to extenuating circumstances, they may apply for a temporary resident permit. Special measures for vulnerable populations, Canada has various programs and initiatives to address the specific needs and vulnerabilities of certain refugee populations, such as LGBTQ plus refugees, women at risk, and survivors of violence. It's important to note that these programs have specific eligibility criteria and processes. The eligibility criteria can vary based on factors such as the applicant's refugee status, location, and the specific program or stream they are applying under. As immigration policies and programs can change over time, individuals seeking refugee or humanitarian protection in Canada should consult the official website of Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada or seek legal advice to understand the most up-to-date information and requirements. The Refugee Sponsorship Program in Canada includes the Private Sponsorship of Refugees and the Blended Visa Office Referred Programs. These programs allow Canadian citizens and permanent residents, as well as groups and organizations, to sponsor refugees to come to Canada. Here are the specific eligibility criteria and processes for these programs. 1. Private Sponsorship of Refugees Eligibility Criteria for Sponsors Sponsors must be Canadian citizens or permanent residents. Groups of individuals, community organizations, or religious institutions can also act as sponsors. Sponsors must be at least 18 years old. Sponsors are required to provide financial and emotional support to the refugees they sponsor for a specific period. Eligibility criteria for refugees. Refugees must be outside their home country and have been identified as in need of resettlement. Refugees should not have the financial means to support themselves in Canada. Refugees must not pose a risk to Canada's security. Sponsorship process, identify refugees. Sponsors typically identify refugees they wish to sponsor either through personal connections or by collaborating with refugee organizations. Submit application, sponsors submit a sponsorship application to Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada. This application includes details about the sponsor's financial ability to support the refugees. Approval, 
If the sponsorship application is approved, sponsors are matched with refugees in need of resettlement. Settlement Plan Sponsors develop a settlement plan outlining the support they will provide, including accommodation, food, clothing, and emotional support. Refugee Arrivals Once the refugees arrive in Canada, sponsors provide the agreed-upon support and assistance to help them settle in their new communities. 2. Blended Visa Office Referred Program The BVOR program is a collaboration between the Canadian government and private sponsors to support refugees. The process combines government assistance with private sponsorship. Eligibility criteria for sponsors, same as for PSR sponsors. Eligibility criteria for refugees, refugees eligible for BVOR are identified and referred by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees or another referral organization. Refugees should meet the criteria set by the referring organization. Sponsorship Process Referral Refugees are referred to the BVOR program by the UNHCR or another referring organization. Matching Canadian immigration officials match refugees with eligible private sponsors. Refugee Selection The Canadian government provides financial support for refugees, while private sponsors provide settlement support. Settlement Sponsors assist refugees with their settlement needs upon arrival in Canada. It's important to note that sponsorship groups must commit to providing financial support for the refugees for a specific period and must help them integrate into Canadian society. The exact process and requirements may evolve, so it's advisable to consult the official website of Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada for the most up-to-date information on the Refugee Sponsorship Program and BVOR Program eligibility criteria and processes.